Welcome to another episode of Pandemic Apparel. This episode has been long overdue and highly requested. Grading the basic bodice. This tutorial will cover the grading rule breakdown, how to grade with a grading machine and ruler. In part two, I will show you how to grade with Adobe Illustrator, recommended books, and the pros and cons of all of these grading methods. For those of you who are new to grading, check out my previous tutorial, Grading the Basic Skirt, and you'll also find a brief description of what grading is. So go ahead and check that out and come back and finish this episode. The breakdown for the basic bodice with a side and waist start with a one and a half inch grade will be thus. The lengthwise is for all sizes, so from the armhole it's zero and the neck it's one sixteenth that's parallel to the shoulder. And then from center front to waist, you're going to enlarge it a quarter, so that's going to be an eighth and an eighth. Then widthwise at the neck, it's going to be one sixteenth. At the shoulder, it's going to be one eighth. At the side seam is 3 16th, so if you add all those together, then that gives you 3 8 So you have 3 8 for the right and 3 8 for the left, and that equals 3 4 And then for the back, you have 3 4 so that equals 1 and a half. So there you have your 1 and a half inch grade. So for the 1 inch grade, again, the length is the same. The width is going to be 1 16th at the front, 1 16th at the shoulder, and you notice at the bottom, the dart gets split up, it gets 16 in the front and 0 on the side. And then for the side grade, you're going to get an 8. For the 2 inch grade, again, the length is the same. The width is going to be at the neck 1 8. At the shoulder, it's going to be 1 8. And if you see at the bottom, the it gets split up into 0 at the front and an 8 at the side. And then for the side grade, you're going to get a quarter. Now in industry, these measurements and breakdowns would be a little bit different. Um, every uh, company has their own breakdowns and rules and stuff, but this is the basic. For this tutorial, I'll be using tape, pencil, paper, pattern, ruler, or grading machine. So for those of you who are returning, I'll briefly go over the movements and the wording that I use. It's up, down, in, out. And this is the way you would see it on a dress form on a person. I'll be rotating it when I have it in the machine or on the ruler. Grading machine. Now I already went ahead and drew the grain line on the paper and a perpendicular line. And then I lined up my pattern piece to those lines and uh, put them in the machine. As a point of reference so you guys know where the zero zero point is, um, I'm writing it on the paper. I'm going to go from a size 8, which is my pattern piece, to a size 10 using a 1 inch grade. So I'm going to move up an eighth and mark the center front neck. Now I'm going to go up a 16th and out a 16th and mark the neck shoulder. For the armhole shoulder, I'm going to go down a 16th and out a 16th and don't forget to mark the notch as well. For the armhole notch, I'm going to go down an eighth. For the armhole side seam and side dart, I'm going to go out an eighth. Now it does show that there's a line going through it, but this side dart does not get enlarged, so we're going to mark the drill hole as well. For the side seam and waist, we're going to go down an eighth and mark that, and don't forget to mark the notch. If you guys remember from my previous tutorial of grading the basic skirt, on the waist, the center front to the uh, first start, there was a 1 8 inch grade. Uh, now whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top because it sews and these are supposed to line up together. Also, even if they didn't sew, if you're grading this, you want to do the same. My cheat sheet way of doing this is going all the way back into zero and then going out an eighth. Now for the one inch grade, it's not a problem, but you'll see later on for the other ones, you don't want to do all the math. That's the simpler way of doing it. And you're going to mark the dart legs. And while the side dart does not get enlarged, this one does. So while you're here, you're going to go up an eighth and mark the drill hole. Then go down an eighth and go back in to zero and mark the center front waist. Size 10 to 12 is going to be a one and a half inch grade. Now, so we're going to go up a quarter and mark the center front neck. To mark the neck and shoulder, we're going to go out an eighth and up an eighth.
For the shoulder armhole, we're going to go out 3 16th and down an eighth. And don't forget to mark the notch. For the armhole notch, we're going to go down a quarter. For the armhole side seam and side dart, we're going to go out 5 16th. And don't forget to mark the drill hole and dart legs. Side seam and waist, we're going to go down a quarter. For the waist dart, we're going to go in all the way to zero and go out a quarter and mark the dart legs. And then we're going to go up a quarter and mark the drill hole. Then we're going to come down a quarter and back into zero and mark the center front waist. Size 12 to 14 will be a 2 inch grade. For the center front neck, you're going to go up 3 eighths of an inch. For the neck shoulder, you're going to go out a quarter and up 3 sixteenths. For the armhole shoulder, you're going to go down 3 sixteenths and out 5 sixteenths. For the armhole, you're going to go down 3 eighths. For the side seam, armhole, and side dart, you're going to go out 9 sixteenths. And don't forget to mark the dart and drill hole. For the side seam waist, you're going to go down 3 eighths. For the waist dart, you're going to go into 0 and out 3 eighths and mark the Start legs. Then you're going to go up 3 eighths and mark the drill hole. Then go back down 3 eighths and into 0 and mark the center front waist. After seeing how to grade the basic bodice, I hope you guys um, appreciate my little trick there at the waist for going into 0 and then going out that eighth. Um, because if not, take for example the one and a half inch grade. On the machine, it'll read you're out five eighths, but then to go to the dart, you'd have to minus an eighth, minus three sixteenth, minus an eighth, which would give you three eighths. So three eighths minus five eighths is a quarter. Um, for the two and two inch grade, you'd be out one and an eighth, and you'd have to minus minus an eighth, minus three sixteenth, minus a quarter, minus an one sixteenth, minus an eighth. That would give you three fourths. Three fourths minus one eighth is 3 eighths. Um, so why do all the math when you can just make it simpler on yourself? Now, this method won't work for all the uh, breakdowns, but it definitely works for this one, so I suggest go ahead and use it. Now, to finish off the uh, grading, we're just going to connect all the lines that we made with the original pattern. Now, usually you would get um, cut each pattern individually and so you just go just blend the lines with the previous size instead of using the base size but since this is a nested grading pattern we're just going to have to make do with the pattern that we have and um, it's not going to be as accurate as if you were doing it each size individually. Grading with a ruler now uh, for this pattern I had to add tabs on it just to be able to move the pattern around because um, the pattern is so small underneath the ruler. Uh, if you have a bigger pattern, this is not necessary. Uh, I set up the paper the same way I did with the machine grading. One thing I didn't show on the machine grading was tracing the base size on the uh, paper. It's a good thing if you want to see how all the sizes are going to look when you're nesting your grade. You don't need to do this if you're just going to grade um, each size individually. Now um, I'm going to be using the same measurements I did with machine grading. I don't think it's necessary to keep going over it. Um, I'll let you guys look and see um, what I'm doing. But what I did want to point out is how I did the lines. Instead of using a pencil, I used a very thin pen and um, I drew the lines and that makes it a lot easier to see through the ruler since the ruler letters are black you can clearly see where the red is also you want to take note that um, when I move the pattern I have I want to make sure that the 
line, the red line on the pattern goes goes all the way through, you know, the line. So even you see the little break lines in between the eighths, the uh, one sixteenths. I want to make sure that red line touches all of those all the way to the top or all the way, you know, across. If it's off by a little bit, I mean, forget it. Your your pattern is going to be your grade for that size is going to be off. So there's no point in continuing. You want to make sure and take the time that the line goes all the way across. And on the machine, it's a lot easier because it's already held down and the machine just goes up and sideways. Now, one thing I didn't show you on the machine grading was checking your work. This is very important. You want to make sure that before you go any further, cutting your pattern, you know, taking it off the machine or whatever, you check your work and make sure that you're, you did it correctly because sometimes you can mess up. The way you check your work is to do a one inch grade, you have to have on the side seam, it's a, a quarter. For the one and a half, it's three eighths, and for the two inch, it's a half an inch. For the armhole, it's an eighth for the one inch, three sixteenth for the one and a half, and a quarter for the two inch grade. Next episode will be part two of grading the basic bodice. If you missed last episode on drafting a skirt with Lectra, be sure to check that out. And in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed to Pandemic Apparel.